Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. Let's hitch up here. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. I said the cattle shed, Arthur. Arthur, take cover in that shed over there. Get in position. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, Fran. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the Arthur, trail. we got a problem. Folks. <laughs> There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body of food in the wagon. Or I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, Fran. Look out! There's more to bastards! Search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. <laughs> 